pin 1, pin 20 and pin 40. 1. VSS is ground signal. These pins are input pins of the microprocessor. Pin 1 and pin 20 are ground pin. It means these pin are connected to negative terminal and it is represented by VSS. 2. Pin 40 is the VCC pin which means is power supply signal. Plus 5 volts DC is supplied through this pin. AD0, AD14 and AD15. Pin 16 2 and pin 39, bidirectional. This is called bidirectional because data is flow from microprocessor to memory. Or memory to microprocessor. 1. These lines are multiplexed bidirectional address, data bus. It means these lines are used for transfer of both data as well as address in the microprocessor. 2. During T1 clock cycle, they carry lower order 16 bit address. 3. In the remaining clock cycles, they carry 16 bit data. 4. AD0 add 7 carry lower order byte of data. 5. AD8 to AD15 carry higher order byte of data, NMI. Pin 17. This is input pin. 1. NMI stands for non maskable interrupt signal. Non maskable interrupt mean it is hardware interrupt and can't able to disable by software. 2. It is an active high. It means there is no bar over NMI pin. 3. It is a net triggered interrupt. When we give such trigger to pin 17 then this interrupt start working and stop all the process in microprocessor, INDR. Pin 18. We give input to this pin. This is maskable types of interrupts. 1. It is an interrupt request signal. It is software interrupt and disable by software. Lower priority as compared to NMI. 2. It is active high. 3. It is level triggered. These interrupts do not support latching and must remain high till the CPU acknowledges them to do so. CLK. Pin 19, input. 1. This clock input provides the basic timing for processor operation. By this we can easy find which is faster in process. 2. It is symmetric square wave with 33% duty cycle. 3. The range of frequency of different versions is 5 MHz, 8 MHz and 10 MHz. Reset. Pin 21, input. 1. It is a system reset. Microprocessor accumulator R reset. The value in accumulator becomes zero. 2. It is an active high signal. 3. When high, microprocessor enters into reset state and terminates the current activity. 4. It must be active for at least 4 clock cycles to reset the microprocessor. After 4 clock cycle it's disabled by itself, ready. Pin 22, input. 1. This is an acknowledgement signal form slower I.O. devices or memory. Acknowledge signal means message signal. As the memory is slow this pin tells microprocessor that memory is slow to operate. As memory will ready to transfer. Data ready pin goes high and microprocessor goes for memory access. 2. It is an active high signal. 3. When high, it indicates that the device is ready to transfer data. It transfer data from memory to microprocessor or vice versa. 4. When low, then microprocessor is in wait state, test. Pin 23, input. 1. It is used to test the status of microprocessor 8087. It shows the status of flag present in the microprocessor. 2. The busy pin of 8087 is connected to this pin of 8086. The Intel 8087, announced in 1980, was the first x87 floating point go processor for the 8086 line of microprocessors. The purpose of the 8087 was to speed up computations for floating point arithmetic, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and square root. 3. If low, Execution continues else microprocessor is in wait state, QS1 and QS0. Pin 24 and 25, output. These pins provide the status of instruction Q. When QS1 and QS0 is 00 then status is no operation. 
When QS1 and QS0 is 01 then status is first byte of opcode from Q. When QS1 and QS0 is 10 then status is empty Q. When QS1 and QS0 is 11 then status is subsequent byte from Q, S0, S1 and S2. Pin 26, 27 and 28, Output. 1. These status signals indicate the operation being done by the microprocessor. 2. This information is required by the bus controller 8288. The Intel 8288 is a bus controller chip which is designed for Intel 8086-8087-8088-8089. 3. Bus controller 8288 generates all memory and I.O. control signals, lock. Pin 29, output. 1. This signal indicates that other processors should not ask CPU to relinquish stop the system bus. 2. When it goes low, all interrupts are masked and hold request is not granted. 3. This pin is activated by using log prefix on any instruction, RQGT1 and RQGT0. Pin 30 and 31, bidirectional. 1. These are request, grant pins. 2. Other processors request the CPU through these lines to release the system bus. 3. After receiving the request, CPU sends acknowledge signal on the same lines. 4. RQGT0 has higher priority than RQGT1, road, read. Pin 32, output. 1. It is a read signal used for read operation. 2. It is an output signal. 3. It is an active low signal. It mean it contains bar over it, mn slash mx. Pin 33, input. 1. 8086 works in two modes. A. Minimum mode. B. Maximum mode. 2. If mn slash mx is high, it works in minimum mode. 3. If mn slash mx is low, it works in maximum mode. 4. Pins 24 to 31 issue two different sets of signals. 5. One set of signals is issued when CPU operates in minimum mode. 6. Other set of signals is issued when CPU operates in maximum mode, BHE, S7. Pin 34, output. 1. BHE stands for bus high enable. 2. BHE signal is used to indicate the transfer of data over higher order data bus D8, D15. 3. 8-bit I.O. devices use this signal. 4. It is multiplexed with status pin S7, A19 slash S6, A18 slash S5, A17 slash S4, A16 slash S3. Pin 3538, unidirectional. 1. These lines are multiplexed unidirectional address and status bus. 2. During T1, they carry higher order 4-bit address. 3. In the remaining clock cycles, they carry status signals, features of Intel 8086 microprocessor. 1. Intel 8086 was launched in 1978. 2. It was the first 16-bit microprocessor. It means it can process 16-bit data at a time. 3. This microprocessor had major improvement over the execution speed of 8085. As 8085 was first microprocessor introduced by Intel itself. 4. It is available as 40 pin. Dual inline package dip. 5. It is available in three versions A. 8086, 5 MHz. B. 8086, 2, 8 MHz. Circa 8086, 1, 10 MHz. Note. MHZ is the microprocessor clock speed. 6. It consists of 29,000 transistors. 7. It has a 16-line data bus. 8. And 20-line address bus. 9. It could address up to 1 megabyte of memory. It means we can upload approx 1 megabyte data in it. 10. It has more than 20,000 instructions.